officially on the road to Chicago for the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Very excited to see some cool Hall of Famers and get some autographs and also invest in some cards. We'll see you there. Well, we have officially entered Illinois, also known as Toll Country, so we'll be paying all of our autograph money in tolls, but hopefully we have some left over by the time we get to the show. Almost there. All right, so we have officially made it to the hotel, the Hyatt Regency in Chicago. And Collector, why don't you share your wisdom as to why you chose this hotel? Well, mainly because it's connected to the convention center. And doing so, it allows us to bring our items back and forth from the show to our room without having the elements to deal with. So, for example, if you're out there and you just got a brand new helmet signed or a bat and it's unprotected and you're walking across the street and it's raining out, oh, there goes the autograph. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't so, want that to happen. Best thing to do, I always say, is just to have a connection. So we're in like a skyway system, so don't have to deal with the elements. Yeah, so just a little bit of wisdom for you guys, if you ever do come to a show here in Chicago, to look for a hotel that has a skyway connection so you don't have to worry about the elements getting your autographs all messed up after you get them. Now, the only downside to the Hyatt Regency so far is the front desk staff was extremely rude to us when we were trying to explain to them that we were supposed to get a special rate due to being part of the convention center, which is on their website. And so we will not be staying here again if we come back for the November show. We will be staying at another hotel because, well, the rudeness just isn't very welcomed here. And the other place has a free breakfast and all that good stuff, so might as well just stay there. We're on our way to get the autograph tickets that we picked up in the pre-sale, so we'll see you guys then. secret passageway to the convention center you can see right here and again button doesn't want to work as per usual <laughs> well that one works but just another reason not to go to the Hyatt Regency O'Hare handicap button doesn't work on their doors that is inconvenient to say the least now it is a pretty long walk to the convention center but it's all worth it you got some decent views like you can see a plane flying there you got the buildings next to you not too bad Almost arrived to the convention center. Or maybe not. There it is. The promised land. cancellations, but that's always to be expected. All right, Collector, we picked up the autograph tickets. It took us a little while, but we got them. <laughs> Who did we get and why? We got Lawrence Taylor. He was a good price. It was one of the rollback prices, so uh, we already have him on mini helmet, but this is going to be any size item, so either full-size helmet or jersey. I prefer the jersey, but trying to find one might be difficult at the show so more likely I'll find a full-size helmet for him to sign that plus we got an inscription as well so I'm assuming we'll do Hall of Fame also got Doc Gooden um, and this guy right here you want to see that ticket Randy, Randy Johnson, Johnson. Hall of Famer 
Again, his prices were rolled back a little bit, so it wasn't as bad as uh, the prices have been in the past. We've never met Randy Johnson, so this would be a new one for us. Getting him on a baseball, uh, the standard, you know, uh, baseball rather than the jersey. Jersey, it required five additional signatures on it for him to sign it, so he has some conditions. Um, so that wasn't going to work, and thought baseball would seem the most appropriate. So excited to see Randy Johnson as well. The real question is, will he sign the bird photo? He will not sign the bird photo. That's one of his conditions, which I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to sign that one as well. Absolutely not. So, so yep, just do it on a standard baseball. We've got a, a couple from our collections that are ready to go, so got to unwrap them tonight, get them ready, ready for the show, and we'll have an autograph by this time tomorrow from Randy Johnson. Lawrence Taylor is on Sunday, so they'll be in, and they'll be the next day. All right, so we got the tickets secured. Now we're back in the room. We'll give you a quick room tour here. And then we're going to go on the hunt for some food. I don't know what you're hungry for, collector, but we'll find something good around here. All right, so here we go with the room tour. We'll start in the bathroom because what else do you start your hotel room tours? I don't know. So look at this, a pretty fancy bathroom. You got toilet paper, a toilet, a sink, and a shower. That's in too interesting to see here. All right, so we just left the bathroom. Here's a nice mirror so I can check how I'm looking before I go to the show to make some deals and find some cards. All right, right on the wall here, you got some art right next to the bed that I claimed because I like the finer things in life. There's my mask, as all masks are required. You've got some lights, a telephone, charging station, all the good stuff. And then you got the collector's bed and oh, what's that right there? Some baseballs that are unsigned and will be signed in the future by Mr. Randy Johnson and Doc Gooden. Let's take a look at those nice pristine baseballs. Looks like we have some card cases there too, just in case we find anything cool. Then over here, you got a nice desk where we will be probably eating our food and all that good stuff, little coffee machine. A nice TV here. So here is the view from our balcony. Doesn't look too great in the foreground. All you see is a bunch of parking and cars. But if you look in the background, it's a little cloudy. But you can see the skyline of Chicago. That's pretty neat. So not too bad. Alright, so that was the view from our balcony. And that was our little tour of our hotel room not too big so it didn't take too long now on to finding some food all right so we found food at denny's i haven't been here in forever so this should be fun all right so the food just came i got the super slam because you can never go wrong with breakfast at any time of the day and here's what the collector got and i the collector got the bacon burger with fries it's the sun said you can't go wrong with that you know, he, he can't go wrong with the breakfast. I can't go wrong with the wrong with the bacon burger. All right, so we have made it back to the hotel after eating our delicious food <laughs> from Denny's. We have survived getting to Chicago. The Chicago Sports Spectacular starts tomorrow, so we got an early day. So I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna go and edit this quick, and it'll be out on the YouTube channel. So look forward to that, Collector. How excited are you for tomorrow? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the show looks like, the vendors, and meet those autograph guests yeah that's gonna be awesome Should be fun all right well we'll see you guys tomorrow all right bye until next time keep it mint keep it gem mint <laughs>